What's up everybody, this is your boy Kamal once again, and today the agenda is to relax and rewind with this interesting looking differential equation. And in fact, it's been quite a while since I released a video where I solved the differential equation, so here's a nice and simple one, simple in terms of the ingredients used to construct the equation. We have the derivative of y with respect to x plus the reciprocal of y times the second derivative of y with respect to x, so yeah, nothing too outlandish whatsoever. It's a non-linear second-order differential equation where the x term is explicitly missing. So we're going to start off with the simplifying substitution of letting the derivative of y with respect to x equal u. Now this implies that the second derivative of y with respect to x equals du by dx. Now under these transformations, we actually turn the differential equation into one in three variables. We have y, x, and u. But there's a way to get rid of that complication by just using the chain rule. So we have du by dx written as du by dy times dy by dx. And dy by dx is just our u variable. So we have u times du by dy equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x. And that means our transformed differential equation is now y prime being written as u, plus we have 1 by y times u times du by dy equal to 0. Now we can expand using the y term here. We know that y is non-zero because of, well, the shape of this equation. So this implies that uy plus u times du by dy equals 0. And we can just factor out a u term here. So we have y plus du by dy equal to 0. And this implies that we either have u equal to 0 or we have y plus du by dy equal to 0. And the first of these equations, that is u equal to 0, recall that u is in fact dy by dx. So we have dy by dx equal to 0. And this is true if y is some constant. So we have y equal to some constant of integration c. Now for the other case, we have y plus du by dy equal to 0, which implies that du by dy equals negative y, which is a nice, simple, separable differential equation. So this implies that we have du equal to negative y dy, and on integrating both sides, we have u equal to negative y squared by 2 plus some constant of integration, which for convenience purposes, I'm going to be writing as a by 2. So again, u here is just dy by dx. So dy by dx equals a minus y squared divided by 2. And this implies that Again, we have a separable differential equation. So we can write this as 2 divided by a minus y squared dy equal to dx. And we're integrating with respect to the variables either side. Now on the right hand side, we just have x plus b. Whereas on the left, we could use a partial fraction decomposition here. And that would give me 1 factor of root a minus y plus something divided by root a plus y. Now with a plus sign in between, we have the y's canceling out. And in the numerator, we would get 2 times root a, but we, know we only need a factor of 2. So to balance that out, I just need 1's here and the reciprocal of root a outside. And again, we have 2 very simple integrals to evaluate. Both of these would be logarithmic results. So we have x plus b equal to 1 by root a times the logarithm of root a minus y divided by negative 1 plus the logarithm of root a plus y. Okay, cool. So using the properties of the logarithm, we can write these as one term. So we have 1 by root a times the logarithm of what exactly? We have root a plus y divided by root a minus y minus or plus whatever. You can absorb the minus sign into the constant of integration b. 
And here we have an explicit, explicit solution of x in terms of y. So there are two possible solutions. One is a function y satisfying this equation, and the other would be the solution y equals to some constant c, which is, of course, quite boring, but still a solution nonetheless. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Do drop me a follow on Instagram and support the channel if you learn something or, you know, like the content or whatever, just if you want on Patreon. Thank you. See you next time.